Thank you for choosing to watch our plumbing movie. In this presentation, you will see various pictures of on-the-job site encounters of broke down plumbing systems. Like this service line leak. As it turned out, this old repair was made with a T-fitting. It was installed vertically instead of making horizontal connections. All was fine until heavy line equipment put stress on the T causing it to crack and leak water. Now this cold water poly gray line has a pinhole which occurred while the owners were away for a while. It caused damage to the wall and to the floor. And this blue poly line made from the street to the house ruptured and went unnoticed causing the owner to have several months of high water bills. Both gray and blue poly have been discontinued. However, there is still a lot around and if you have any, you may want to consider having us come out and replace it. Even new products can break down like this picture. The black plastic pipe is a new product, but being put deep into the ground at the basement wall, the weight of the ground caused it to crack. We moved up about three feet and put a new hole through the basement wall for a new copper pipe. By doing this, it took all the stress out, making it unlikely to break at this point again. All indoor water lines are controlled with a shutoff valve and a pressure reducing valve and needs to be in an accessible location. This one here was accessible but failed with the pressure being greater than 120 pound per square inch. If you notice the cutoff valve is after the pressure reducing valve which is the first item you see through the wall. This water had to be cut off at the street and it was arranged so that it could be properly serviced with new materials and a new pressure reducing valve. No one likes a stopped up drain. Large drains or small ones. They're all trouble and can cause a lot of damage. Pulling roots out with a machine clears the line for use, but the line is still damaged and needs to be repaired. We install new lines or we can locate and cut out the damaged area. Either way, we make sure you have an accessible clean out for future cleanings. When the line is clear, and in good working condition, the drains will flow clean. Now this old cast iron plumbing system from the 60s can give a lot of trouble and can be replaced with PVC pipe and brought up to code. The hole you see here was made when the owner installed shelves in their closet. It was a three inch discharge line for the toilet and the rest of the plumbing on the upstairs bath. Being closed up in the wall, it went unnoticed for a good while. When the owners could not get rid of the dampness and mold smell, they called us out. We located this pipe in the wall, removed the sheetrock, and found the hole. This toilet flange is located under the toilet and holds the toilet to the floor. When we arrived, the toilet was moving on the floor and leaking water from underneath. We cut the old flange out repaired the plumbing, prepared the floor for a new flange, and installed a new flange on the floor. The toilet was then resealed and set. Broken flanges like this one is common on tile and hardwood floors, and most of the time they are below the surface of the floor, which is inadequate. This can cause the toilet to move and break the seal, allowing water to leak onto the floor. Hot water is one of the most important necessities in everyone's home. Water heaters can rupture and leak water and go unnoticed, leaving a large path of damage. It is always good to have them serviced. Most standard water heaters carry a six-year manufacturer warranty. When our water heater is down, we realize we have taken it for granted. Standard gas, electric, or even tankless, it doesn't matter, we install them all. You may even have a freestanding gas fireplace or a set of gas lungs that you may want us to install. Whatever you have, no job is too big or too small for us to handle in your home. Call us at 770-294-5585.
and thank you for watching our movie.